Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to turn an internal hard drive into an external hard drive. This is a Sunion external hard drive caddy. Takes your internal hard drive and turns it into an external one. Now this one has two separate options. It has an eSATA option and a USB option. And here it is inside the box. It has a nice meshy case design which, well, it helps cooling I guess. Uh, stand, put it on the side. Looks like that. Uh, a cable, which is your USB, as you can see, USB A to USB B. Uh, an eSATA plate for your desktop computer, so that'll sit inside the desktop and go from a SATA port to an eSATA port. All it is is a converter. And speaking of eSATA, there is your cable. Very useful. Nice, cheap, cheap flimsy screwdriver, power supply, and your instruction manual, which you do not need, because I'm doing this video just for you and the four screws to secure it inside your caddy. So looking inside the caddy, you're going to first take it out of its plastic packaging and you do that by removing four clips along the sides. But first we'll take a good look at the ports you've got. So you've got USB-B connection, power supply and eSATA. And a space of two extra ports but I'm not sure what they're supposed to be to look like firewire. So once you've wrestled with it for a bit, press the clips down. You've got the insides here. So it takes a three and a half inch SATA drive this as you can see here are the ports connecting to it and it has the option of those two ports there. There's a button on the back along with some LEDs to show you what it's doing. So here's the hard drive we're putting in. It's a Seagate Barracuda 1TB drive, an ST8 something or other. And all you have to do to put this inside is match up the contacts with the contacts. So we're going to slide that in like so. And it's ready to go. You now need to put the four screws in around the hard drive and this will keep it from moving around inside its case. And once they're all in, just like that, you can put your case back together. Now again this is very fiddly because it's got these silly plastic connectors all around the side of it. The clips are hard to get off and hard to get back on. So once you've wrestled with that some more, it's ready to go. So you'll need to start connecting up your things. First in we'll put the power supply. And secondly you can make your choice. Do you want USB or eSATA? Well, to help you make this choice, I'm going to do a test for you. Which one gives the highest data rate? So turning our hard drive on by pressing the LED button here. And we started off with the eSATA, so we have to go to Device Manager and press Scan for scanning for plug and play devices. You can see it's appeared here. You can't just connect it like a normal USB port. It has to be configured in your BIOS or EFI. So we can do a quick test here. How long does it take to transfer over eSATA? So dragging this over, we'll have a look at the speed. We're doing about 125, 119, so it's a slowing speed, but it's an impressive speed for an external device. So about 118, 113, 114. This is one minute in. Still going, still going. One minute, 10 seconds. 111 megabytes a second. And we're done. One minute, 12 seconds that took. So we'll now move on to USB. This is USB. And we are recording. The file I'm copying over, if anyone recognises it, is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It's from my EZ Cap video, available in the top left corner now. So if you want to check that out, you can. It's a nice big file, so I think it's great to transfer. As you can see, it's 7.23 gig. Sorry, 7.65 gig. So we're going to fast forward time here. It's now 3 minutes 48 seconds in, and we're still not done. So this is over 4 times as slow, and we're still going. Are we going to hit 4 minutes? 5 seconds, 58, 59, ooh, almost, about 59.5 seconds. USB is widely available, but it isn't very fast. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.